hello everyone uh, today I'm going to solve this problem which is uh, another problem from lead code may challenge this is the first problem of this week it says uh, second week the, the problem statement says you are given an array coordinates the coordinate I will contain X and Y where X Y represents the coordinate of a point check if these points make a straight line in X Y plane all right so for example as we can see in the figure it is making a straight line however which is not the case with the second set of input there are certain constraints defined as well all right so it says that uh, the set of points will have at least two xy coordinates and the biggest size will be of this much and the coordinates will contain no duplicate points all right so it seems like it's a basic maths problem where we need to first find the slope of each point and see if all the slopes are similar so idea here is to basically sort the given points on the x-axis in increasing order and then we will check it each adjacent points whether they have the same slope or not there is however a catch if we sort and all the points or maybe two points lie on the same x-axis and when we are going to calculate the slope which will be a form of y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 we might end up dividing by 0 and this special case we need to take care of otherwise it seems to be straightforward let's first uh, check f this coordinates has only two elements that means we are always able to form uh, a line here otherwise as I said we can sort this by the by the first uh, coordinate uh, by the x coordinate and let's write this comparator function uh, custom shorting function and see alright so it should return on the basis of that should be a of 0 should be less than b of 0 now as we said we need to also calculate the uh, the, the slope so let's name a pointer uh, name a variable slope which will be coordinates of uh, 1 comma 1 minus coordinates of 1 0 comma 1 this is y2 minus y1 I'm going to check if uh, if uh, this point lies on the same x coordinate that means it is perpendicular to x axis which will be with this condition which we can check with this condition it should be 1 of 0 comma 0 of 0 if this is the case and if it is not perpendicular we can continue the slope calculation by dividing this number by this particular expression we need to in fact turn convert it to subtraction then as i said what i did here is just uh, calculate the slope of the first two points because we can always form a line with the first two points and then we are going to start from the third element that is the, at the index two and we will continue till we reach till we have checked every pair and for that we are going to do an adjacent com uh, comparison so let's let's call let's say we have another uh, current we have another slope we'll call it current slope and we are also using current 
this perpendicular variable what are we going to do here is we are going to do something very much similar to what we did here and uh, here we'll store current slope in this format uh, it should be i of 1 and this should be i of i minus 1 of 1 we can also check current is f perpendicular is equals to if this is the case that means this is uh, the x coordinates are on the same I mean the quad x coordinates are same for both of the points now as we can observe that we can only uh, continue if either both of them are parallel or if both of them are not parallel that means this shows this uh, behavior of exhaust that means if is perpendicular and uh, uh, XOR this is true that means we are to return false otherwise we can continue the slope calculation as we did here by dividing it with the difference of the x coordinates and uh, let's see if we are missing anything yep it should be x minus 1 here now we can check if the current slope is is not equals to the slope that we have calculated in the beginning we can immediately return false and if all of the pairs have passed the test we can simply return true so let's run this and see if it works yes and we can test with some other input which is given this works as well let's quickly have a look at our implementation to ensure it doesn't break accept it all right thank you guys uh, for watching this video if you like please click on the subscribe and the like button thank you